Welcome to Manic Artistic Superhero Chapter 14, Getting on the Same Page. Gasp! We need to talk, Manic. She thinks you're the one who writes the code. We need to reevaluate our- Ah, what are you doing here? Manic, that isn't the issue. Why not? Listen, she- Who is she? Cal and Liz's sister. She thinks you're the one who writes the code. Manic? I'm not talking to you until you explain why you are watching me sleep. Manic, you are my tulpa. No, but no! Manic, this is important. Okay, you really don't have to. Just get out, but... Just let me get dressed. Seriously, I'm very uncomfortable having any conversation without clothes. Okay. Five minutes later. Manic, stop. You can't ignore this. Stop! You need to tell me. Tell you what? Everything. What? There's so much I so much you know and I don't. I need to know it too. Until I do all all my plans could never work. Don't you understand that? You're dooming us to fail. Now come on, we need to help Vider work on the robot. Shadow was keeping things from me. Destiny destined not to be And I couldn't even begin to imagine what or why. M002 Lost at sea. Help, 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 help. Ocean of my heart. Please. Not meant to be. Help. Drown to join the depart. Only one breaks through. Please. <gasps> Bolt. Creak. Tremor. Gasp. Bolt, where did you go? Why'd you leave? M003. Sigh. I'll never be able to fix this world. I've frozen time here. Seems like the only thing I can do. The only way to stop this. Sigh. Am I destined to wander all of time like this? Temporal quartz? I need your help. How can you be here? I froze time for all but me. I am you. You from another dimension. Please, we need to go. M001. Manic, what is that? A put the right shape in the right hole game. Why? For testing Tin's motor skills. How dare you doubt the skill of a motor I built? You said we were testing the robot. If we're not testing functionality, what are we testing? Ugh, the AI, its ability to act with reason. Dummy. Oh, so we talked to him? It! And if you can spare it, sure. What? That thing wouldn't shut up about nonsense, so I turned off its voice. You can turn it back on if you want, but I'm going over the code. You turned his voice off? It! Here, I'll turn it back on. Beep. This one time? Oh, gods. I had a thought, and it was, like, not code, but still felt like it. Uh-huh, and what was the thought? Well... I thought I wasn't human. It's a bleep genius. It is not! Eli had finally taken resp responsibility for his action. Sam welcomed him back and got en enrolled in counseling. 9.99? 1,000. Split wasn't convinced he'd change, though. Ugh. Get my rag. Get it yourself. I said I'd spot you, not be your maid. But you're not doing anything. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm with lifting weights, bleep. Oh, come on. Not with the body I was talking to. It still takes concentration. Multiple bodies, one brain. Bleep. Why are you so rude to me? Come on, are you holding my past actions against me? Because I... Do you remember when we met? Uh, yeah, dude, that was today. Clunk. Let me ask you that again. Do you remember when we met? Uh, I could flash back. Two years ago, spring 2019. Gasp! Er, the bleep! Eli, give up. This is split. They have the super strength, too. You can't win. The bleep, I can't! Manic called it on it. Listen to them, super dude. I idolized you. Don't be a villain. Eh. You and an army of bleeps whacked off to me. How do you know? If he does, that's why he's being fired. I'm a literal god. Who could criticize me for abusing that? You're a womanizer! 
bleep that makes me mad. Miss Feh, like I care what some bleep. I looked up to you, you bleep. Pow. Present day, spring 2021. Ah, uh, you were a dude. That's why. I'm not a dude. I'm gender fluid, you jerk. Hey, ever bleep yourself? You're a sex addict. I'm out of here. Meanwhile, Vine's father finally awakened from his coma. Although he was in the early stages of recovery, and no one knew how much he could recover, Vine told me he was thrilled because it seemed that he recognized her as his daughter. But the doctors thought he must have m memory loss, which means he didn't remember the assigned gender of his child, just that he had a child. Regardless, Vine was thrilled, especially considering her mother's arrest. The police made the arrest, despite Vine's plea that it was defensive. She was sentenced to 20 years. It'd be a lie to say if this sentence wasn't mo racially motivated. Shadow was able to get her an appeal and set up her get her set up in a nice minimum security prison. And Ra had moved into the building. Shadow had been spending a lot of time with him. Hmm? Hey, Ra. Ack! Oh, what kind of salad is that? Floor salad. Looks good. What do you want? I need you to tell me about her. Her who? Our shared aunt. Ah, Yuki. You don't know- I don't know anything you don't. Yes, you do. You know her name. I didn't. Tell me what you know. Fine. Yuki, Chaka, and Quinn were the rulers of an alternate Earth. They were sisters, but their DNA was exactly the same. They are all clone descendants of, from one person. The leader before Yuki, I don't know her name, but she raised the three to always do the best for their world. Their world is running out of water, and Yuki was in charge of finding more, but she never did. All deep space scans were f returned without finding any, and their water supply was getting smaller and smaller, and their population shrank. All hopes seemed lost. Then what ha seemed like a miracle happened. The moon settlement, established by the people long ago and abandoned once water became scarce, contacted with them with a, an astonishing discovery. The moon was full of life-giving water, enough to prolong life for thousands of years. However, what was more shocking was who made the discovery, since it wasn't one of them. It was one of us. I don't know who. They say his skin was silver like theirs, but the math he used was ours. He met with Yuki and told her about our Earth. They met on the moon, with the alternate Earth behind them. He gave them time. He gave them hope. But she wanted more. She wanted our world. The code wasn't given. It was taken. After that, the conquest began. Yuki and her sister began to distort time. With the code they stole, they could create infinite parallel dimensions. Munch. Munch, munch, munch. That's all I know. The code wasn't given. Nope. Munch. Taken. Huh. S Shadow, stop acting like you can change what's already happened. Munch. But it hasn't happened. But Yuki lived through it, and it happened, and she killed the guy, so... Hang on. Killed? Yep. Munch. How do you think she, she stole the code? You know she thinks it's Manic, right? Whatever. Wait, I thought Manic was the 8th. Right, the 8th immortal who writes the code. No, the 8th is the key to dimensional stabilization. Besides, if the 8th brought the code, they couldn't be killed by Yuki since they are immortal and Yuki is not. She's not? Nope. Only reason Chaka and Quinn are is us. The text was bloodline based. So Yuki can't use it because her blood is too common. Common? Yeah. See, their mother laid a thousands of eggs that populated the Alt-Earth. When Quinn and Chaka made us, they were subject to your typical random gene mixing. This gave the tech something to check on. But Yuki didn't have any children, so her blood is indistinguishable from the other sisters. How do you know all this? I don't know. I picked up on a lot over the years. I eavesdrop a lot. What? At least I'm honest about it. Do you guys think I'm a sex addict? Yes. Why does nobody knock? Meanwhile, 
stop giving it gender. Oh, come on. If he wants to have gender, he can have gender. Uh, guys? No! The machines are devoid of gender. I'm devoid of gender, but he... It! I could see you on surveillance. Guys? I see everyone. Guys? All the time. Guys! What? Your robot is sending me weird texts and acting generally creepy. Bleep it, we should just assemble that junk heap. What? A text? Can he do that? Is there a number he's connected to? What number is it from? Well, it's from the call out line f of the building. What? How do you know it's from him? Well, it's mostly binary. Oh, wow, may I see? Hmm, Tin, did you send this? No, I don't have phone access. Lying robot. Why do you think he's lying? Who else could it be from? I don't know, but at the end it says show to ten. Ugh, you're exhausting me. It's just pranking us. Maybe. Or someone is trying to talk to him. Who else even knows he exists? Well, maybe he can tell us. What's the message say, Tin? Manic, don't show him that. What if it's a virus? Well, how else could we read it? Can you read binary? Why do you trust that thing? Why don't you? Beep, beep. You have reached the trans-dimensional voicemail of Cosmic Quartz. I told you, it's pranking us. Wait, we know of Cosmic Quartz. Outgoing message. Hello? If I decay if this will work, but... Bolt, please come back. I sent this code to all the Manic Verses. Please, we need you. Quartz, stop looking for him. We need you, not a... Vader, stop. It's still recording. Beep. Leave message now. Cosmic, this is Lunar. You, you lost, Bolt? What happened? Beep. Voicemail is now full. What? Manic, I need to tell you everything, but you should know. Manic, Shadow, I need to tell you everything. Not an ideal time, Sam, but you should know. I think that you think that I know more than I know. Uh, okay, real quick. Anyone else hear that music? Nobody's acting like there is. My senses are picking up only... Picking up voice, but music is coming through on a different channel. What? Are you all pranking me? You all in with the robot? Manic, I don't know how this ends. I don't know how it began. I don't know who's who. Can't we just be people? I can't tell if we exist or if we're theoretical. What? What's wrong with you, huh? You can't tell a person they are theoretical unless there are a voice in your head. You can think you are real. I can tell you how this began. A code that split our existence from one world to two. Split our history into a mess. They came first. Our reality is just a quench of thirst. But they... But the code that lets us exist was made by us and stolen on the moon, Manic. I don't know how to keep a code we don't have. Uh, but we know where. If the code was stolen on the moon, we go to the moon. Manic, stop with the singing. My ears are ringing. Wait, really? So, I, I understand. Oh, God, stop with this prank. Vider, I need you to consider this may not be all about you. Huh? And that you are just a part of a team that will become as powerful as you think you are. Tin became sentient. It was undeniably him. But at the same time, it felt like my powers were fueling him. Melvin, everyone here cares for you. Stop being afraid. What? Don't hold your ideas in. My were my powers fueling him, or was he free? Sam Man Manic? I need to talk to both of you. Alone, huh? I guess I was about to find out. Okay.